hello viewers welcome back to my channel and welcome to today's class but before we continue with today's class i want to make a little clarification some people were asking adebo did you change your name did you change your name i said i made a little adjustment okay for today's class we are going to look at the time telling how to tell the time in Igbo language when it's past one, how do you say it in Igbo language? When it's 1 p.m. or 2 p.m., how do you say it in Igbo language? We are also going to see the old method of time telling. You know, the Igbos before the coming of the whites, there were so many means by which the Igbos tell the time. So before we, produce, we proceed to that of the clock and everything about it, I will also mention or let you know the th those things like the cock crow, as you can hear that now, is one of the things the Igbos use in um, telling the time in those days. The shadow. The shadows was used in those days to tell the time. Like in the afternoon, the shadow becomes very short and we will know it's afternoon. Then in the evening, the shadows becomes very very long so in those days you use the shadow the shadow was used to tell the time the four market days were also used in time telling and the time passed even till now people still make use of these uh, four market days we have in Igbo land the AK the Ori the Afo and the Enkwo now someone can actually say anye gaga eba hon ubo chiriki or anye gaga eba hon ubo chiri we'll go to that place on the Ike market day or we'll go to that place on the Orie day they also use it to tell when ceremonies will take place for instance if a marriage is to take place on a ordinary day. You hear people saying, Me mahogade obochori. Me mahogade obochori. The ceremony will be on the ordinary market day. So in those days till now, the four market days we have in Igbo land are used in time telling as i said earlier the cock crow was used in those days to tell the time you hear the cock crow early in the morning the cock also crow in the evening but one thing that is forbidden in Igbo land is a cock crowing at midnight in Igbo land it is forbidden for cocks the crow at midnight. The next thing the Igbos used in telling the time in those days is the seasons. We have the raining season, and the Igbos call the raining season Ogwe Udumiri. Ogwe Udumiri. We have the dry season, and the dry season, the Igbos call it Oge Okochi. Oge Okochi. We also have the Hamatan season. The Hamatan season is called Oge Ogoro. Ogoro. Hamatan. Oge Ogoro. Oge Ogoro. Hamatan season. Now let's look at the modern way of time telling. You know, the coming of the white brought a lot of changes in Igbo land including our time telling. We now use the clock, and the clock is called Elekere, Elekere in Igbo language. This clock has different shapes, different sizes, different types, the war clock, and so many others. Before we move into the time telling fully, there are things that are worthy of note. Remember I said the clock is Elekere in Igbo language. Now the R, the R is pronounced as Awa in Igbo language. We have the minutes 
In Igbo language, the minutes is called in kg. The seconds is called tenkom. So the clock, elekere, the hour, hour, minutes in kg, seconds, tenkom. We have pass. Pass is gafe, gafe. So you have off of row. AM ototo. AM ototo. Now PM may be a hihe. Mbede mobo abale. So for AM is ototo. For PM, PM may be a hihe. Mbede or abale. Okay, let's look at the time. Now this clock we are seeing here is saying three o'clock. So how do we say it in Igbo? When it's three o'clock, we say, Okola elekerato. Okola elekerato. If it's three a.m., you will say, Okola elekerato nkototo. Okola elekerato nkototo. If it's p.m., you will say, Okola elekerato nkehihe. Three p.m., Okola elekerato nkehihe. The next clock we have fifteen minutes to twelve. So in Igbo you will say, "Ofora inkeji irini se koko elekere irina bo." Ofora inkeji irini se koko elekere irina bo. Fifteen minutes to twelve. In this clock we have eight minutes past twelve. So in Igbo language you will say. O jirila inkeji asato gafe elekiriri na abuo. O jirila inkeji asato gafe elekiriri na abuo. Eight minutes past twelve. In the next clock, we have eight minutes past ten. O jirila inkeji asato gafe elekiriri. O jirila inkeji asato gafe elekiriri. The next clock is eight. O'clock. So in Igbo language, eight o'clock is okola elekira sato. If it's a.m., okola elekira sato nkototo. If it's p.m., okola elekere asato nkabale. Okola elekira sato nkabale. And the next clock, the time is sixteen minutes to six. Sixteen minutes to six in Igbo language is. Offer on KG Rini C, or Quelekeri C. So we say, Offer Doro, in KG Rini C, or Quelekeri C. Sixteen minutes to six, Offer on KG Rini C, or Quelekeri C. In the next clock, we have seven minutes to two. Seven minutes to two in Igbo language is, Offer on KG Asa, or Quelekeri Abu. Or offer doro in kg asa koko elekera abo. Seven minutes to two. Offer in kg asa koko elekera abo. Let's see other time. We have 11.55 a.m. 11.55 a.m. in Igbo language is Offer in kg isi ka oko elekera iri na abo in kehi. One o'clock p.m. is Okola elekrembo nkehihe. Okola elekrembo nkehihe. We have 4 p.m. Okola elekrano nkemwede. Okola elekrano nkemwede. We have 10.30 p.m. You will say, Ojiri lo karagafe elekere iri nkabale. Or, Ojiri la nkeji iri ato gafe elekere iri nkabale. We have 8.15 a.m. Ojiri la nkeji iri ni se gafe eleke ra sato nko tutu. For the 10.30 p.m. 10.30 can also be called half pass. So in Igbo language, okara is half. So you can say, Ojiri la okara gafe eleke ri iri. Ojiri la okara. So okara is half. Thank you for watching to the end of the class. If today is your first time of logging into my channel please don't forget to subscribe i will also like to take your questions in the comment section see you in the next class bye